ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் கம்மிங் டு தி நெக்ஸ்ட் டாபிக் டெஸ்ட் பிளான் காம்பனன்ஸ் இன் த சப்ஜெக்ட் சாஃப்ட்வேர் டெஸ்டிங் ஓகே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வாட் இஸ் டெஸ்ட் பிளானிங் ய பிளான் இஸ் ஏ டாக்குமெண்ட் தட் ப்ரொவைட்ஸ் ஏ ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் ஆர் அப்ரோச் ஃபார் அச்சீவிங் எ செட் ஆஃப் ஹோல்ஸ் ஸோ டெஸ்ட் பிளானிங் இஸ் அன் எசென்ஷியல் ப்ராக்டிஸ் ஃபார் எனி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் தட் விஷஸ் டு டெவலப் ஏ டெஸ்ட் ப்ராசஸ் தட் இஸ் ரிப்பீட்டபிள் அண்ட் மேனேஜபிள் ஓகே ரிப்பீட்டபிள் மேனேஜபிள் இஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ஒன் in the software domain plans can be strictly business oriented for example uh, long term long term plans to support uh, the economic growth of an organization okay they can be more uh, technical in nature okay uh, uh, for example a plan to develop a specific software product test plans uh, uh, tend to be uh, more technically oriented okay a yep. uh, software project plan that may contain a test plan as well as uh, um, uh, refer to business goals okay so uh, test plans is very complex and uh, detailed uh, documents okay so the plan usually includes the following essential high level items uh, one is uh, overall test objectives as uh, testers uh, why are we testing what is to be achieved by the test and uh, what are the risks associated with uh, testing uh, this uh, product for particular product okay so uh, overall test objective is uh, very important next one is uh, uh, what to test scope of the test uh, what items what features what type of uh, procedures functions uh, objects and uh, clusters will be tested okay so next one is uh, who will test mm, uh, who are the personal responsible for the tests okay so this is very important how to test what strategies methods hardware software tools and techniques are going to be applied so how to test is also Uh, very important when to test the timing is also very must okay uh, what are the schedules for test uh, what times need to be available okay so next one is when to stop testing uh, it is not economically feasible or uh, practical to plan to test until all defects have been revealed okay so these are all the uh, planner usually includes the uh, essential features essential items okay so next is uh, about uh, components uh, test plan components okay so 16 types of components are available um, first one is test plan identifier next one is introduction items to be tested features to be tested next one is approach sixth one is pass fail criteria uh, suspensions and uh, resumption criteria uh, test deliverables testing task test environment responsibilities staffing and training needs scheduling risk and uh, contingencies next one is the testing cost final, final one is approvals okay so first one is uh, test plan identifier okay uh, each test plan should have a unique ui identifier so that it can be associated with the Uh, specific project and become a part of the uh, project history okay uh, organizational standards should describe the format for the test plan identifier and how to specify versions okay so test plan identifier is uh, a very important one uh, important one it is uh, essential for essential for any software project and uh, allows for uh, or uh, change control okay so next one is introduction in this section the test planner gives an overall description of the project and the software items or features to be tested okay next one is uh, items to be tested mm, this is a, a listing of the uh, entities to be tested and uh, should include names identifiers and uh, 
person's revisions number for each entity okay so uh, what are the procedures classes modules libraries subsystems and systems okay so um, uh, this item listed uh, carefully okay so next one is features to be tested so features may be described as uh, distinguished characteristics of your software component or system okay so uh, in this component of the test plan the testers gives another view of the entities to be tested by describing them in terms of the features they uh, encompass okay features may be described uh, things okay performance reliability portability and functionality requirements okay so next one is uh, approach okay this section of the test plan provides a broad coverage of this issue to be addressed when testing the taught software testing activities are described okay so next uh, test component is uh, uh, item pass or fail criteria the tester must have a set of uh, criteria to decide on whether the test has been passed or failed upon uh, execution time okay a failure occurs when the actual output produced by the software does not agree uh, with uh, what was expected uh, under the conditions specified by the test okay so next one is uh, suspensions and uh, resumptions criteria okay uh, criteria uh, to suspend and resume uh, testing are uh, uh, described okay for some test items resumptions may require uh, uh, criterion tests to be uh, repeated okay so next one is test deliverables um, execution based testing has a set of deliverables that includes the test plan along with its associated test design specifications test procedures and test cases okay deliverables may also include other documents that uh, result from testing such as uh, test logs test transmitter reports test incident reports and a uh, test summary report okay so next one is testing task a work breakdown structure is a hierarchical or a tree like representation of all the uh, tasks that are required to complete a project okay next one is uh, the testing environment mm, uh, here uh, the test plan describes the software and the hardware needs for the testing effort okay for example any special equipment or hardware needed such as uh, emulators telecommunication equipment or other devices should be noted okay so next one is uh, responsibilities the staff who will be responsible for test related tasks should be identified okay this includes personnel who will be uh, transmitting the software under test developing uh, test design specifications and test cases uh, so on okay so next one is staffing and training needs uh, describe the staff and the skill uh, levels needed okay next one is uh, scheduling uh, uh, the task durations should be established and uh, record recorded okay so um, next one is uh, risks and uh, contingencies uh, risk should be identified and evaluated in terms of their probability of uh, occurrence okay uh, prioritized and uh, contingency plan should be developed that can be activated if the risk occurs okay so uh, next one is final one is uh, testing cost Mm, uh, test cost um, that should include in the plans are uh, test cost of planning and uh, designing the test uh, to support the test environment test cost of executing the test uh, test cost of recording and uh, analyzing test results okay so mm, finally tear down cost to restore the environment okay uh, these are all the uh, test plan components okay Thank you.